Want to turn your love of gems into an actual career, but not sure what kinds of jobs are out there? Well, today you're in luck. We are covering gemology jobs that run the gamut from traditional to cutting edge and even the utterly strange. First, as with any career, you'll probably want to do some self-assessment. Are you a people person? Or do you prefer poring over books and data? Are you looking for something comfortable or fast paced? If it's the latter, you might consider getting on the block as a gem specialist at an auction house. Here, gemologists are needed to evaluate all kinds of jewelry and loose gems before they go once and go twice. Expert opinions are highly valued in communicating the details of antique and estate treasures to buyers. The ability to test gems and metals is also essential in purchasing rarities from private sellers. Beyond your gemology education, you'll also need great organizational skills to track inventory and coordinate shipments for the lucky bidders. Working in auction houses can be a very exciting career. Here, you'll have a great chance to see some truly amazing pieces as they emerge from private collections and enter a high stakes world where small fortunes can change hands as quickly as the hammer falls. Prefer examining your gems in a less hectic environment? The traditional job of gem appraiser might be the right one for you. Gem appraisers perform detailed inspections of all kinds of gems to assess their identity and value. For this job, it is necessary to not only have a deep knowledge of gems and keen observational abilities, but you must also keep up to date with the latest market developments. It can be a high pressure job as there are many variables to consider and even a slight difference in grading can mean a difference of thousands of dollars. So be prepared to show your work, backing up your findings with thorough reports. Gem appraisers usually have a gemology degree, for more on those, click here, but are also often expected to maintain membership in an appraisal organization that requires some additional training. The good news is that there are many businesses that employ gem appraisers, from local jewelers to pawn shops, even insurance companies. It's the type of job where you may find a steady staff position or make your own hours as an independent contractor for many different clients. Have a thing for white coats? Gem ID techs grade their gems in a lab environment. Working for larger organizations like GIA or JTV, these examiners often test large groups of stones as part of quality control measures. They may also make detailed reports on very high value stones using high tech machines like the ultraviolet, visible and near infrared spectrometer, or just the UV Vis NIR for those in the know. These machines can be used to detect treatments and origins of stones that simpler methods may miss. You could take your lab work to the next level as a gem researcher. Here, the focus is less on aiding businesses and collectors, but rather on moving forward the science of gemology. You'll gather all kinds of info which can be used to build databases, ID rare gems, or even deepen our understanding of well-known gems. Gem researchers are not simply confined to a lab, but also must do field work at major localities to obtain specimens for study. It can be an exciting job making new discoveries in a fast growing field. Typically, researchers like this work for large research and educational organizations. Since their work often pulls from other scientific disciplines, additional academic backgrounds and disciplines like chemistry, physics, and even biology are highly desirable. But for those interested in getting their foot in the door, GIA does have a research internship program where you'll spend three months focused on a specific project. Looking for something a bit more practical, interested in working with your hands, then maybe you are cut out to be a bench jeweler. An important job offered by large scale jewelers and even local stores, bench jewelers often begin in apprentice programs and eventually tackle jewelry repair jobs as well as stone setting. You can get a lot of hands-on experience with a wide variety of natural stones, synthetics, and simulants, while also taking pride in restoring treasured heirlooms or realizing new creations. If you have an artistic flair, you might eventually strike out on your own and become a lapidary artist, fashioning rough gems into a wide variety of cut styles, from cabochons to fantasy cuts, adding beauty and value. 
Fastening machines can be a significant investment, but fastening to bring out the brilliance of a gem is a practice that has some of the greatest profit potential in gemology. Some lapidary artists work with popular cutting styles, while others may create unique custom pieces for their clients. Gem and jewelry manufacturers take this a step further, crafting the gems into gorgeous jewelry pieces and occasionally adding treatments to enhance appearance and wearability. More concerned about having a steady income in uncertain economic times? Well, don't forget that the most prolific employers in the gem trade are jewelry stores. While several of the jobs we've listed so far may be available at these stores, working retail sales could be your quickest way to start making money. If you're good with people, it may be your calling to share your love of gems with them while helping them pick out the perfect piece for their style and budget. As you gain more experience, you may find work on the flip side, as a buyer of large lots of gems and lines of jewelry for larger companies. If you have a love of travel and you're willing to take big risks, you may even try your hand at becoming a gem dealer, traveling to select locales across the globe to buy gems for import and then moving them into the cutting and manufacturing process to sell for a profit. But be careful. It's often said that the best way to make a small fortune in this line of work is to start with a big one. These are some of the most well-known careers in the gem trade, but we don't want to stop before telling you about a couple more unique ones. If you have a comprehensive gem knowledge, a gift for storytelling, and a knack for figuring out how to best display gems, then you might find work as a gem curator, either for a museum or even a large private collection. And there was one job we came across in our research that we simply had to mention. At least one company we found is hiring for a grading technician to oversee diamonds made from human remains. Yes, you heard that right. You may have read about new companies popping up that have offered to turn the ashes of your loved ones into diamonds. Well, apparently, this is a whole new career opportunity for gemologists too. The listing we saw was seeking someone to grade and ensure the quality factors of the created diamonds, oversee shipments to family members, and also to organize the inventory of the vault where the diamonds are kept initially. This is one place you definitely don't want a mix up. Before we go, we want to just give you a little general advice on how to make it in the gem industry. First, always be learning. Even after you get your certifications, continue reading books and articles, attend seminars, watch videos, especially YouTube ones. Look at as many gems as possible. There's no substitute for hands-on experience. Also, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Go to shows, meet people, give talks, write papers, share your knowledge. The gem world can seem big or small depending on your perspective. There are so many alumni groups and communities on social media. Don't be afraid to join in. Would you like to know more? Let us know in the comments. We're here to help, so please remember to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And we'll see you next time.